Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly, and I am an attorney here in Tennessee. And today, I thought that we would make another recipe. My grandmother was a missionary along with her husband, and they met a lot of people through the years. And she actually made a book for me before she passed away of all of her favorite recipes. This recipe for pumpkin bread with chocolate chips inside is actually one of my kids' very favorite recipes. So let's get started. I thought I would show you the page out of the binder that my grandmother typed for me back in the day. She was a nurse and she got this recipe from another nurse when she was working at a hospital in Montana. This book is full of amazing recipes. Please leave a comment down below if you would like me to make any of the other recipes in the book. Let's start off by gathering some of the tools you'll need for the project. You'll need a large bowl, a mixer, three loaf pans, a cooling rack, and a scraper. Next, let's gather the ingredients for the recipe. I will put the recipe in the comments down below and in the description box. I used self-rising flour in this recipe. That's the only substitution I made, and as you will see, the bread still comes out great. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees so it'll be nice and hot by the time you're ready to put the bread in the oven. Finish prepping by spraying down your pans. If you are interested in any of the products that I'm using, you can always take a look down below in the description box and there's a link to my Amazon page. Gather all of your dry ingredients together. Mix your dry ingredients together in a separate bowl. I like to use one that has a pour spout so that when you're adding it into the wet ingredients later, it makes it much easier. Grab your four cracked eggs and your mixer and beat those until they're light and fluffy. When you're done, it should look something like this. Next, add the oil and the rest of the wet ingredients. If you like this recipe so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Unless you have a pull tab can, you will need a can opener to open a small can of pumpkin. I like to use this bowl scraper to mix things together so that they don't splash out when I use my mixer. Now go back to your bowl of dry ingredients and slowly add it in to the wet ingredients and mix those together. It'll probably take four or five times depending on the size of your bowls. Be sure that you're mixing all of that thoroughly together. Now comes the fun part. Add in a bag of chocolate chips. You can also add in any other goodies that you think you might like. You definitely want to hand mix the chocolate chips and use your scraper to make sure there's no leftover dry ingredients clinging to the side of the bowl. A lot of people like to use nuts. Now you're ready to pour the batter into the three pans. I usually just eyeball it. I don't measure it. I just pour them in until they look all about the same. Place your bread on the center rack 
of your preheated oven. Close the oven and wait 55 minutes. Now you're ready to take out your three loaves of bread and let them cool. Be sure to use a fork or a toothpick to make sure they're thoroughly baked. If you've followed the recipe, you should have three delicious loaves of bread. In my house, those usually last about four to five hours. Remember to let the bread cool for at least an hour so that it will stay nice and firm. All right. The bread just came out of the oven and it's cooled for about an hour. This is what it looks like. So I thought I would cut into it before my kids get into it. And there's none left. So that you could see what it looks like. All right, so you can see here it's full of chocolate chips, and if you wanted to add anything else like nuts, um, I have a son that is allergic to nuts, so we don't do anything with nuts in it at our house, but if you wanted to add walnuts or pecans into the bread, I know that it is really tasty. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you will be notified when we make more videos like these.